Hello, and welcome to part two of the Dragonsang online video tutorial series. This time we'll focus on demonstrating general gameplay and showing you the Dragonsang online interface so that you can ease your way into the game. After your first login, you'll be able to see the character you created in the middle of a big circle. Move your mouse cursor to a location on the ground. When you use your left mouse button to click on this location, your character will move directly to this position. Well done! As you can see, the first NPC is already waiting for you, with a big blue exclamation mark above its head. Click on the NPC, and the quest window will open up to accept your first quest. You can gather experience points by finishing the quests given to you by NPCs in-game. Experience points will help you go stronger and increase your character level. Quests also give you an idea of Drakensang Online's storyline. Once you've accepted a quest, you need to look for the related tasks or creatures. You can use the map function located on the user interface bar at the top of your screen. The hotkey is M. Some NPCs will try to attack you. You've got to act quickly and use your magic to keep them away from you. You can also attack an enemy by clicking the left mouse button while the mouse is over the attackable creature. After a creature has died, you'll be able to gather the experience points needed to reach your next level. Your health and mana pool will increase when you level up. And at certain times you can upgrade or learn more powerful skills. Here come a few more attacks. Try to kill them before they reach you. If you're fast enough, you won't suffer any damage. As a mage, you have a health bar and a mana bar. Mana is required for using your attack skills, and your health keeps you alive. If your mana is empty, then you won't be able to attack with your powerful spells as a mage. If your health is low or even empty, well, then you die. Here's a barrel. Let's try to open it. Nothing. Sometimes you're able to open several items in the environment, like chests and barrels. If you're lucky enough, useful and powerful items will be in there for you to pick up. You can check the user interface bar at the top of your window to open your inventory. The hotkey is I. Here you can see the equipment that you're currently using, as well as your backpack. After you picked up loot from creatures, these items will show up here. Your current copper, silver, Gold and Andamant amounts can be found at the top left corner of your window. It's good to keep that in mind. But now let's try to finish our first quest. Once we've found Urda, we're able to complete our first quest. Right away, Urda tells us about the next step of our quest, the Path of Destiny, and asks us to bring back her amulet. Take a look at your thin blue experience bar on the bottom of your window. Here you can see how much experience you still need to reach the next level up. Let's not wait any longer and go get Urda's amulet from the gremlins. They should be somewhere here to the left. Nice, here's another barrel. Here we go. We can do one right after the other. Unique creatures are a bit harder to finish off, but they also contain more interesting loot and sometimes quest items like Urda's amulet. Now we've got all the necessary quest items. But don't forget the crate here. Time to go back to order and return her amulet. Now click on order again. You can see the big question mark over her head. This tells us that we have open quests for this NPC. When you give the amulet back to order, you can see green check marks in the quest pop up. You can see right away if all the necessary tasks have been completed in order to finish the quest. Here's a nice feature. You can use your mouse wheel to zoom in to see your character or other stuff in more detail. We hope this brief tutorial was helpful for all you new players out there. 
Thanks for watching part 2 of the Drakensang online video tutorial series. Stay tuned for the next installment. See you in game.